The closest point gridding algorithm assigns each grid node to a value equal to the value at the closest control point. This method can be used to model data that is not gradational. For example, consider a data set where the z-value represents a lithotype. We'll start with a control point map that shows the comments being the lithotypes. If we grid the z-values with the closest point algorithm, we get a model that approximates a geologic map. In conclusion, advantages? The grid value range will be equal to the data point range. The maximum and minimum values will correspond exactly with the control point values. Grid nodes will honor the control points. It's good for modeling discrete non-gradational data. Disadvantages? Produces discontinuous grid models with abrupt changes between grid cells.